Just another week for Dundee fans. Coca-Cola Cup appearance last week. Reports that the club is about to be taken over. And then the fastest goal of the afternoon. George Shaw putting them one up in St Mirren. So the players clearly unaffected by all the hype of the last few days. St Mirren are beginning to see the best of Barry Lovetti. Back from his drug problem. But Michel Pajot in no mood to give him any favours. 18 minutes on the clock and Dundee worked their second goal. Started by the player manager Jim Duffy. Through for Paul Tosh. No problem whatsoever. Clinical finish. The Dens Parkers are two up. So did St Mirren have it in their bones to come back? Well, the manager hopes so, but it wasn't to be at this point. In fact, Dundee almost extended the lead to three. Duffy, then McQueen, long ball forward. Saints stood there thinking it was offside. Tosh wasn't, but only that timely tackle saved St Mirren. Really, all in all, it was Dundee's day. Morton Vekos here with a tremendous effort. The Danish international just beaten by the post. So no doubt some stern words from Jimmy Bone at halftime to try and get his troops moving. And they started with some promise. But they found Michel Pajot in good form. That's not a bad effort, but no problem for the French goalkeeper. But their perseverance finally paid off in the 69th minute. Heatherson decided to take on the Dundee defence. No one wanted to put in a challenge. Lavetti was there. And the striker just gets through and has a cracking drive from six yards. Almost busting the net. 2-1, Dundee. So could the Saints get a late equaliser? They almost did. Watch for this drive from Mark Yardley. Edge of the box. That's sheer brilliance by Pajot. So the points stay with Dundee.